Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Today I'll be talking about the Chinese TFA gas mask. Well, not actually today. It's actually late night. I mean, not not late night. It's actually seven fifty-two p.m. But I digress. So I'll be talking about the Chinese TFA. And as you can see here, this is a Chinese panoramic mask. The uh, pot here is 40 millimeter standard, not gauze. So basically speaking, you can take a C2 canister, which is an American filter, which is obviously standard threaded, and screw onto the mask without any problems whatsoever. So as you can see here, this is the left side of the uh, the mask, and this side has a blanking plug. You can actually unscrew this, and it revealed a second pot, which is the uh, forty millimeter pot, standard threaded. Also, this is the blanking plug. Screw back in. And this is the cover for the voice diaphragm. Actually, cover for the cover or whatever. So inside here, that's the voice diaphragm. Well, obviously, under here is the cover of the uh, SL valve. That's the SL valve, which is obviously removable, and that's only one valve there. Unfortunately for me, I have to reinstall this thing and uh, it's going to take a while because it's freaking hard to reinstall this thing. I'm not sure why I'm, I show it anyways, but that's that. Okay, that's easier than, than before. And anyways, panoramic. Here, there's the LA certification. So the LA certification is basically like Serim in Malaysia or Neosh in America or CE in the European Union, I believe. And as you can see there, not sure if it's going to focus or not. There's a tongue fang uh, insignia or logo, which lead to this Tang Feng written here because this mask was made by Tang Feng let me check out the manual it has the uh, full name Tang Feng Industry Protection Products that's the full name of the company that makes the TFA and as you can see here this is the manual which is included when the TFA arrives in this manual this side here is English and this side here is in Mandarin I believe when it came it came in the uh, uh, this plastic bag covered by this uh, purple thing which is like this this is my second TFA right so this is unopened so it should look like this when it arrives as you can see here um, okay Okay, as you can see here, this is the Quality Assurance Certificate. Uh, as you might know by now or, or not, on every Chinese gas mask, or at least most Chinese gas masks, they will have this piece of paper that came with it. So, as you can see here, on this uh, certificate, it was made in on 12th august 2018 and this is the stamp of the examiner 
of the uh, mouse uh, and as you can see there this mouse follows the GP2890-2009 standard because obviously this is the current standard for this mouse so basically speaking there's like quite minimal uh, minimal uh, modes and marks on this mask over here there's the uh, tongue fang tongue fang stamp or mode and that's pretty much it yeah that's the only mode on this mask it is free size so if you have an average asian face like i do You'll fit this uh, mask well, but if you have a very large face, larger than an average Asian, then you'll have trouble trying to wear this mask. Similarly, if you have smaller face than I do, or basically smaller face than an average Asian face, well, quite odd, but that's that. It does pressurize and it does work. I've tried this mask before with uh, a brand new filter, not this filter obviously, another filter which I forgot where did I put it, but um, it does work. So this is my voice with the uh, cover installed, and this is my voice when the cover is removed. Obviously. You see the reason why they put the uh, cover on this because number one you just want to protect the uh, voice stamp and number two the voice is incoherent so yeah this mouse is actually quite comfortable huge peripheral seal and even though I do have beard right now and a mustache obviously this mask actually can uh, pressurize all right i think that's all for me thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day